Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video is going to be all about the Haru Labu Gochujang lotions that I have tried out. I know that there is many different ones on the market. There's not just these three that I have right here. Plus within the brand, they also have a lotion itself, which is the thicker kind of milky type lightweight lotion. And then they have a even lighter lotion or a gel, which is more of the watery clear consistency. So the three that I have here are two lightweight lotions. And then I do have the premium gochujan clear gel. Before I get started, if you are into Japanese and skincare in general, consider subscribing so you can keep up with the latest skincare videos. And yeah, so let's get into the review. So I'm gonna start with the fancy red bottle right here. So this is the Haru Labu Gochujang Alpha Lotion. So this is the Milky Alpha Lotion. So it has the white consistency to it. So if you see this packaging within the Haru Labu line, the red packaging has to do with aging. Definitely the main focal point is anti-aging. Alpha series sticks to aging care and it combines low molecule weight elastins, which is moisturizing ingredients, to give firmness to the skin and 3D hyaluronic acid to help form a moisturizing net on the skin. So it actually helps to deeply firm the skin and it also has a little bit of acidity in it, which helps to turn over new skin cells. So with all of these two, you have to keep in mind when you are applying them, you have to apply them to freshly cleanse skin as either the first or second step. I usually like to do it as the first step um, to penetrate better into my skin and then you have to pat it. So it's really, really important to not just rub it into your skin, to take it into the palms of your hands, break it down, pat it into the skin. Last summer, I was using this whole Haru Labu red line for anti-aging. I do find though that it is, since it does have a very sticky elastic finish, using all the products together did break me out. But I found though, incorporating just the anti-aging lotion into my routine has been perfect. If you aren't a fan of sticky textures or tackiness on the skin, this would not be for you. Even though it has beneficial anti-aging properties and it's good to use consistently, I would say though, if you do not like that feeling on your skin, skip this one. Um, but other than that, the Alpha Type Haru Labu line, I think is a really solid and expensive anti-aging line. Let's leave the skin feeling a lot tighter and firmer. I do recommend this too if you want to prep for makeup and fill in those like lines near your eyes or around your mouth. This does give like a layer of that elasticity and fills in those lines so the foundation can go on smoother. They say you can build up to three layers with this lotion, but I find that's like way too sticky, even for dry skin. Um, but one layer is good maybe two and then the ingredients can start working so if you do see the Hadu Labu line red bottles just know that they have collagen in them and it is made um, specifically for anti-aging and for uh, firming the skin classic you've probably seen these white bottles if you're into Japanese skincare so this is the Haru Labu Gochujang hydrating milk they do have two different versions of this they have the hydrating milk which is the one that I have it has like the lotion type white consistency to it but they also have a clear type lotion which is more like a skin conditioner or essence it contains four types of hyaluronic acid which is obviously a moisturizing ingredient um, but the hyaluronic acid is the nano sized hyaluronic acid and then the super hyaluronic acid also lactic acid and hyaluronic acid fermented liquid so those four are located just in this simple type lotion so this is actually the one that i get the most use out of i feel like it's a super basic thing especially when my skin is feeling sensitive i can just layer this on sometimes by itself and it just moisturizes my skin throughout the day and calms it down so the first haru labu essence or product in general that I've tried and I feel like it's a really good Japanese staple product to start out with just because it is so simple. I've tried the clear just plain water type lotion from this line and I do find that it works really well just to plump up the skin really quickly but the lasting power of the hydration does not last as long as the skin milk. So the skin milk is definitely the one that I recommend out of the two. Now also too, this one does not have a sticky residue. Once it soaks into your skin, you can't feel anything on your skin at all. Uh, compared to the Alpha, this does have elasticity type base to it. Uh, you'll feel this on your skin with the hydrating milk. It's pretty much non-existent on the skin. It doesn't have any anti-aging properties, but I do find that the hyaluronic acid, since there is so much of this in there, I do find it brightens the skin. So even though it moisturizes, pumps it back up, it does slightly brighten if you use it consistently. So yeah, this is the basic one. And out of all three that I am talking about, this is definitely the one I feel 
is best to start out with to see if you actually like them. Okay, so the last and final one is actually the one that I've most recently tried out and it's the Hadu Labu Premium line in the gold bottle and packaging. So the one that I have is the Hadu Labu Gochu Kishjung Premium Lotion Clear. Wrapping it up with the premium, it definitely means premium because it has seven types of hyaluronic acid in it which is again a moisturizing ingredient and it has a rich thick texture but dries down very lightweight. So it also too like the red one is mildly acidity so it helps to speed up and turn over new cells. It's fragrance free, color free, oil free, alcohol free and paraben free. It is a clear consistency. It does have a gel-like type finish and it's more lightweight, but it has the moisturizing power even though it is not as big as the hydrating skin milk. The only difference is, is that this one has four hyaluronic acid ingredients. This one has seven. So that's why it's known to be premium because it's stepping up the ingredients. So it is a watery essence. You don't need that much, just like a tiny bit in the palms of your hands and then pat it in after cleansing the skin. It hydrates for the whole day. The clear one from the premium line has the power of the two milky ones I'm talking about as far as moisturizing goes, but it's much more lightweight. I feel like that has to do with all the hyaluronic acid in it. Even though it's a gel watery consistency, it has an impact full hydration to it. So this is something too I found in Japanese skincare that even though they're a water or an essence or they're clear, they are very powerful moisturizing type products. But before I started to use these watery type Japanese essences to find like a clear lotion or a gel lotion that would moisturize my skin and also last all day, be lightweight, it just never worked for me. I was like, I cannot use gel lotions. They just don't work for me. But once I started to use clear watery essence from Japanese skincare, my whole thoughts on that type of texture product has changed because not only is it watery, lightweight, the ingredients are so powerful and moisturizing. So I do have to work through the whole bottle of this to see if it actually helps to brighten the skin, but so far it really helps to hydrate. Those the three Haru Labu products that I wanted to review in detail for you guys and see if which ones might work for your skin type or which ones might interest you. Again, these are such great Japanese skincare products are new to incorporating layering in general into your skincare routine. I would definitely start with the Hadu Labu products that I mentioned in the description box. And if you guys do like Japanese skincare videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.